Okay, so the deconstruction has begun. First got in, cut out all that coax that we will never ever use. But I'll put it in a little panel somewhere. Maybe on that wall, I don't know. I got some old little panels I'll put in. Just to quail for future if anybody ever, for some reason, ever needs it. Now we're going to take all that Cat 5, Cat 6 out. Put a new box, in-depth box over here, as far as those will reach. So all that stuff will hopefully fit inside that 6-inch box. That one there is only a 3-inch box, deep. Alright. Alright, we got the new cabinet mounted up. That'll give us the space, the 2x6 wall, so they'll give space to store those, those switches inside that cabinet so there's not such a mess, on, a visible mess anyway. Now I gotta get that mess up through those holes. I'm gonna try to do it without cutting all the ends off all the cat fives. But I have a feeling I'm gonna have to redo every one of those because they're not gonna fit up through those holes in that truss. I mean in that top plate. So that's our new box. It's five and a half inches deep. I had to mount it upside down because all, all the mounting holes are in the would be the bottom of it instead of the top of it. But there's no biggie. I actually want the door to open that way, I think anyway. Alrighty. Next step. Alrighty. Cause the low voltage moved, and I'll be damned if it didn't fit. Well, I had to put that shelf up there for my I have PoE switch. This bottom one here is a 12 position PoE switch, but it doesn't actually power all 12. I mean, it says it does, but it won't power all the cameras and touch screens. <clears throat> so that one up there is just feeding, I think, four or five, four different, whatever they are, touch screens or whatever. Anyway, I couldn't get that one in there, but there's a 16 back there behind this one. This one's a 24, and then this one is a 24. This is split 12 PoE, 12 regular gig. And they're all gig switches. You know, it, it all fits in there, and these are all on zip ties, so they actually pivot out. Zip tie screwed back here in the back corner, so you can actually pivot it out and work on it to get to the one behind it. And um, this one's just sitting in there, but the other ones are got zip ties in there with, like I said, one screw in the back, so you can pivot it out, which is just undo this loop de loop I got here, and it just pivots out. Anyway, so that's all done. Next step is figure out if I'm going to put my secondary panel on this wall because my all my lines go that way towards the house. Um, if I'm going to put it right there next to it, I might have enough. If I were to drill through right here, might be enough to reach those over there and get into the top of this other panel. I don't, I don't want to. I mean, I could lift it up higher, but I don't really want to. I mean, kind of like keeping the same height. I would have to move this. That's not a biggie, though. I don't think it's a biggie. Anyway, there's my 200 amp panel. Half that stuff's going in the other panel. Oh, that up there. We have a pellet stove, and when we lose power, I didn't want the pellets to die out, so I had a big um, battery backup tied into it. And I actually tie, and it's you know, it's a in in wall pellet stove, so I can't just unplug it and plug it back in to reset it. So I went with um, that. 